Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Maniform One Turn Kill. What's going on guys and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your week. I am really excited because we are going to be testing out a deck uh, that I didn't create. Um, I know lately we've been testing out a lot of kind of janky stuff, silly stuff, and I, I thought we'd take a break from that and actually look at a deck that was created by the amazing Cly Phoenix. If you don't know who Cly is, go check him out. Uh, fantastic channel. Uh, really, really enjoy his content. But uh, this one is interesting. Um, it is an is it dragons build for the most part uh what i mean by that is we do see the smoldering egg is our creature uh maniform hell kite and goldspan dragon so that's kind of our main creature package we do of course have fable here as well uh which is just a phenomenal card in a deck like this but that's kind of our entire creature package we even feature the dragon's fire leading us to feel like okay yeah this is definitely a dragon's build however this is much more focused on the maniform hell kite than it would be the smoldering egg or even the gold span dragon uh, the idea here is to take advantage of the ability here on Maniform Hellkite to create XX Red Dragon Illusion creature tokens. Uh, they gain haste and they're basically equal to the CMC of whatever instant or sorcery spell you cast. Uh, or I should say non-creature spell technically. Uh, you do exile those tokens at the beginning of the next step. So basically the idea is get a Maniform Hellkite down, play a bunch of non-creature spells which triggers the Maniform Hellkite multiple times in a single turn. Uh, ideally attacking him for lethal or at least very close to lethal uh, and then of course hopefully that's it that's that's the idea uh, now to take advantage of that we do have a lot of relatively inexpensive cards that we can kind of start to double up on so we've got voltage surge we've got consider slip out the back for a little bit of protection make it disappear this is obviously a really nice one just to be able to counter uh, spells on the opponent's side without having to invest a ton of mana uh, dragon's fire like we said expressive iteration uh, fable of the mirror breaker does trigger the mana form hell kite which is really nice uh, memory deluge and then a burn down or two burn down the houses i should say uh, one interesting include is the alchemist gambit not a card we have seen a lot recently but definitely a powerful one in a deck like this where you're trying to win the game very quickly you can cleave this out for a pretty uh pretty substantial sum as well and just kind of hopefully win the game off of that uh, burn down the house plays two roles here of course it can be a sweeper but it's also the little 1-1 devils which can hopefully finish the game pretty quickly and you can casualty them with the make disappear so Clive Phoenix really did a good job here you'll notice there's a lot of kind of odd numbers two ofs things like that that leads me to believe he really did a great job kind of tooling this deck out so I'm very curious to see how this one goes I have practiced one game with this and it was a bot match so this is going to be completely new to me, truthfully, uh, and I'm really excited to see what we can do. I feel like it's going to play mostly like a standard Is It Dragons build, um, but obviously knowing when to be aggressive is, I think, going to be a bit more important in a deck like this where you've got the Mana Form Hellkite. You kind of have to pre-plan a turn ahead. So we're going to do the best we can uh, to, to do have a good showing with Cly Phoenix's deck here, but I'm really excited for this one. Cly, thank you so much, my friend, for sharing this over on Aetherhub. Let's jump right in. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. How do we feel about this hand? Um, you know, I'm actually okay with it. The only reason being, uh, we can lead with this. Oh, actually, that might be better. Uh, yep, definitely better. Let's do that. So that way we can play the island next turn. We've got Make Disappear available, plus a number of other spells. We'll see what the opponent looks to be up to here. Kind of curious. Um, obviously, Snow Covered Swamp leads me to believe a, a Blood on the Snow deck for obvious reasons. Um, excellent. Let's just go ahead and counter that. Uh, looks like Discard, which is going to be a little annoying for sure, uh, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, unfortunately, we do just have to pass here. We do have basically three spells available to us, really four. Um, let's see if they actually do anything this turn. They're going to Valky. Um, okay. I think I just go ahead and do this. Um, and we'll see what they actually do, if anything, here. They could deadly dispute it here. Sure. Okay, that's fine. Uh, worth noting, we could consider this turn. Um, I think we probably do, just given there's not a whole lot else we're planning to do this upcoming turn. 
Uh, and weirdly, I actually think we keep the land because we do need uh, two more lands for the Goldspan Dragon. So I think that's kind of our game plan right now. We're just trying to get to Goldspan Dragon. Chances are they're going to be able to deal with it. Uh, this is obviously mono black, so I wouldn't be terribly surprised there. But uh, it is nice to be able to get that treasure going uh, if we can. Um, do we want to go ahead and kill this? Uh, it would shut off the card draw. Yeah, um, we'll reveal the dragon. We obviously can do this. Um, cool. Just get that off the field. It's not a huge deal in my opinion, but it's something to not have to worry about. Um, and I think again, we'll we'll drop the consider just because we don't have a ton else going on here. Make disappear could be really good. So I'm actually gonna keep that. Uh, there's a number of reasons why I'd like to keep this, but the idea being we could actually counter something that comes down with the treasure off of the goldspan dragon. So this creates a treasure and then we, ah, let's see, hold on. They can sack their treasure to do this, can't they? Um, so we could copy it, but that's not really helpful. Yeah, I think we just let that happen then. A little unfortunate, uh, I did not account for the treasure. That was just kind of my bad. I was thinking more like sweeper range, if that makes sense, uh, just to be able to kind of deal with it, but that's fine too. Uh, we do have burn down the house available, so this actually isn't all that scary. Um, kind of hoping they commit a bit more, but it looks like they won't. Okay. Uh... I mean, we very easily could just Voltage Surge here, um, but I think instead we will burn down the house just to keep the pressure off. Um, it kind of gets rid of everything here, and that's more important to me. Uh, a nice little easy three for one is pretty reasonable. Um, we do still have a Voltage Surge available, but that's about it. <coughs> kind of burning out a little bit here, which isn't ideal for obvious reasons, but... Okay. Um, so they got interesting. Okay. Uh, sure. <clears throat> Go ahead and do this. Uh, and I think we wait and do the instant speed voltage surge. Yeah, I think that's going to end up being the play. We'll see. Um, this is going to be a tricky one for sure. I think we let let them see what they're going to get. Okay, that's definitely not ideal. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so they could drop this for five. If they do, we do have the make disappear available. This is going to get scary though, so we are going to have to voltage surge this. Uh, just so they can't uh, ultimate. Um, a little unfortunate, I feel like we've been very light on bombs uh, so far, which is, you know, not unreasonable. It's just kind of tricky. Okay. <clears throat> I think we have to leave that. And that, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this. We will sack this as much as I don't want to. Um, okay. Not gonna do this on the expressive iteration. I'd rather wait uh, and hit something a little bit more impactful. Okay. Land is very bad. We are absolutely just floundering here, sadly. <laughs> I hate it, man. I'm not doing the best job with this one. Uh, I do think we kind of are getting a little, not unlucky on draws, but uh, certainly could have waited on the burn down the house. That might have been the better play. Uh, just to be able to kind of deal with more here. Um, I did not think they would be getting quite so many uh, powerhouse things here, though. So that's my fault. Yep. Uh, totally fine. I mean, it's not, but cool. <laughs> Uh, we will make disappear this, uh, which does give us a count or two counters here. We need seven. <laughs> I wish we had seven. All right, so unfortunately, we are just gonna take four. 
All right, let's express iteration. I don't know that, did they use this? They did, okay. Um, we'll put this in our hands. Put this in the library and do this. Uh, so that would flip. We would probably lose the game. <laughs> ah, let's do it. We're here to have fun, guys. I don't think we're going to win this game anyway. Otherwise, I would totally not go for this, just for the record. Um, <laughs> okay. No attacks. All right. <laughs> here we go. Um, yeah, we're super dead. Incinder sorcery spell. Man, if only. <sighs> Submit zero. That deals two damage there, two damage there. Do this, doesn't matter, and we're dead. All right, good game. Uh, yeah, there was really no way we could have gotten out of that, I don't think, so it's cool. It's all good, let's jump into game two. The brand new Reanimator Proxy Pack is now available through the end of July. If you'd like to pick up this month's amazing Proxy Pack, please visit patreon.com slash itresolves for details. Alright guys, here we are for game two. Let's hope for a slightly better game this time around. Uh, we do have Smoldering Egg on turn two, which does seem pretty reasonable. We're gonna try this. Uh, we're obviously wanting a couple extra lands here, but uh, we should be able to get there. That's not a bad draw. We can get that down early and then of course we've Got our extra land drop there, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and drop the Smoldering Egg. Uh, next turn, we do have Expressive Iteration. Um, alternatively, we could, of course, just leave up the Make Disappear, uh, which I don't think is unreasonable. Um, what do we think they might have? So this is Grixis. Um, hmm. Let's go for the expressive iteration. I don't know that this is the the this is definitely not the safest plan. There's there's no doubt about that. Um, let's definitely throw this into the hand. That's actually not bad because it does allow us to bounce um, a potential reanimation target, which I would not be terribly surprised that they have. Uh, <laughs> Grixis reanimator is relatively uh, common, so I wouldn't be surprised by that. Okay, we'll just let that happen. We can't obviously do anything anyway. Um, and now we get to leave up Vultured Surge or Consider, so we'll, we'll see what they do. Uh, up against two, I'm assuming, control decks, which is not unheard of, of course, um, or surprising at all. Uh, the meta right now is certainly shifted towards quite a number of control decks, and so this is pretty common. Uh, we'll go ahead and steal that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we just play the Den of the Bugbear. Uh, I don't see a reason not to. Uh, we still get to leave up Dragon's Fire plus Voltage Surge, or make it disappear plus Voltage Surge, so um, I'm actually going to counter this. Uh, the reason being, I, I obviously normally wouldn't counter something just like a Prismari command. Normally I would uh, wait and try and get something a little better, but the reality is they did not play a land last turn. They were clearly digging for a land, and I'd much rather... Uh, force the issue and kind of not give them that option. So I think that is slightly better. Uh, we will just play land. We can play Fable, uh, which does help us dig further into the, the deck. The alternative, I think, is just attack with Den of the Bugbear just to kind of get um, something on the field. But I think we'll go for Fable here. There's a little bit more of a power play because obviously we can, you know, cycle a few cards away as we see fit. Um, they are most likely gonna make us discard some things here, but thankfully, again, if we draw into some things, we actually do have the answer for that, so I'm not as concerned with the revealing eye. Oh, and they just gave up. Uh, unfortunate, because I think they were just mana screwed, which, you know, it happens, but I do feel bad for them. I, I don't like to win a game that way if you don't have to, but it's, it's a win, so I'll take it. Let's jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Um, do we like this hand? Kinda, yeah. I, I don't particularly care for slip out the back at the at the start here, but um, the opponent mulliganed, which is quite good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take this. We'll we'll see what we can do here. Um, 
Nice to have the Voltage Surge in the opener in case they do happen to be kind of an aggressive deck. Obviously, one thing to note, guys, um, the meta obviously shifts as, as time goes on here, and generally speaking, control decks tend to take over towards the later part of uh, any given meta environment, and I think we're definitely just seeing that here. I think that's pretty, pretty uh, normal and expected. Um, and so I think we're just kind of getting to that point at this stage in the game. Streets has been out for quite a while, so not surprising at all. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we just kill that before they can throw a counter around. Um, they would probably throw it here just so they could get the stronger attack in, is my guess. So I'd rather go ahead and get that off the field now. And at this point, we'd much rather just have, like some good removal <laughs> uh given that they're low on resources already um that just seems like the better option for us so we'll we'll see what they're up to but uh so i'll return target creature with mana value too oh that's interesting uh yeah so let's do this um i think we keep that uh, I don't love it because it's not like a super, it's obviously not a removal spell, but um, I do think this is okay. Okay. Uh, sure. So let's just go ahead and throw this out. Um, at the very least, I'm actually okay with trading. Well, I don't know. We could get just gold span down if we don't trade off. So that might be the play dies okay this is a really interesting deck here uh very very i think we do block here um they transform this i know but i think we just have to to do that okay uh slip out the back and i actually think the snarl we get two lands <laughs> awesome obviously not what we wanted uh let's consider first actually <sighs> part of me really likes that and part of me doesn't unfortunately i think no because it wastes too much mana oh and we draw it anyway phenomenal all right let's do this uh okay that's actually pretty good um we'll take this we'll throw the dragon's fire back and we'll take this so we can actually kill something this turn which is i think pretty relevant let's go ahead and get that out of there we'll submit zero all right, so may not have been the most optimal turn, but uh, we did get a number of threats off the field, which is, I think, worth noting. Um, Adeline is terrifying, but we'll see what can happen. Okay, sure. Smart of them to throw it on Adeline, too. That was... It gets it out of range of quite a number of burn spells, so that was actually pretty solid on their part. Um, I think we just drop gold span and hope for the best. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we can attack here. We're pretty dead. Um, not a hundred percent, but pretty close. They don't have just like a obvious attack. Well, now they do. Um, yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, curious where they put this. Okay. Yep. So, Adeline alone is a lethal attack. So we have to do something like this. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty dead. Man, we are just getting very unlucky here, guys. Um, all right, I'm going to good game him. We're going to go for a fourth. Uh, we got some time, guys. So let's jump into a fourth game. Let's see if we can get one more win. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, this is a perfectly reasonable keep. We've got to consider so we can actually get uh, further into the deck pretty quickly here. And we have got the, the red lands, so we're actually pretty good there. Uh, we also have the Maniform Hellkite, which is something we've obviously been lacking. Uh, and so I'm really hoping we can actually do something with this in the, uh, the upcoming turns. I will keep a land because we obviously want to get to the Maniform Hellkite. So it's pretty easy keep. Um, 
go ahead and drop this. We obviously just are gonna drop the smoldering egg. Alternatively, we could have saved and used the make disappear on, I'm assuming like an Asika's chariot. I'm just assuming that's gonna be what it is. Um, but I think I'd rather be a little more proactive here and get something down just to stave off some attacks early on. Oh, it's a Gala Greeters. Okay, sick. I love, love, love Gala Greeters. Such a sick card. Um, I wouldn't have wanted to counter that anyway, so that's kind of nice. And we do this and we pass. Um, I guess we should have maybe Voltage Surged ahead of time here. We'll see. Kind of hope they go for an Asika's Chariot. That'd be kind of nice. A Strangle. Really? Let's see how this goes. Uh, interesting play by the opponent here. I'm very curious about this. Oh, they're just trying to get an attack in? <laughs> really? Um, so we could slip out the back, but I actually think we don't. I'm just gonna take the one. That was a weird play. Um, I, I don't generally agree with a play like that. Oh, they just have another strangle. All right, well, I'm just gonna slip out the back. <laughs> Um, I was kind of trying to hold the slip out the back, if that makes sense, uh, but this works just as well. And now we do get a mana form down, so that's kind of nice. Alright, so... Stimulus package. Wow, cards I just have not seen a ton of. Stimulus package being a big one. Alright, um... So we can just Memory Deluge if we want. Uh, to, to get an extra thing here and get a little bit closer on the smoldering egg. Um, alternatively, we can just save it. I kind of like saving it because we get to leave up the make disappear here. Um, yeah, we'll see. Sacrifice it and you create a little guy. That's fine. Oh, whoops. No, 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 no. We already played our land for the turn. All right. Odd deck. Odd deck for sure. Um, I think it's a good package, but uh, I'm not really sold that it's going to work super well for the opponent. That was a weird strangle play. The double strangle play, I don't think that was a great idea. Um, okay, well, let's memory deluge now. Um... Take Fable in this. So we're, we're gonna lose the mana form Hellkite, unfortunately. Uh, but we get the 4-4 four, four in response here, which just means they can't, like, easy attack in. We need the next instep. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Alright. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and drop this. Um, at some point, worth noting, we can just soft counter something solely to flip the smoldering egg which is kind of the backup plan anyway so that's actually not a bad option um we do have Ooh. yep countering it um 100 countering it they can't pay for this so this is an easy flip and counter gold span so that was perfect and there we go we get the rage the rage quit that was exactly what we wanted uh obviously getting the mana form down and really capitalizing on that didn't happen but we were still able to control the game that was perfect so let's wrap this one up guys all right so first and foremost as always cly phoenix thank you my friend i really do appreciate you sharing this list this was an absolute blast in my opinion uh i will say in my head i'm comparing this to your standard is it dragons build which i have played Weeks ago, I, I tested that deck out, um, and that was one of the first ones, I believe, with Streets that we tested, and it was really good uh, and really, really fun. Um, obviously not top of the meta, where I don't think this is at, at, at trying to sit either, um, but I don't know how consistent this deck is, uh, and, and maybe that was just the small subset of games that we saw. We just had bad luck, and you know, it is what it is. Maybe I didn't play perfectly. That's perfectly reasonable as well. Uh, but I think we played relatively okay uh, throughout those games, but unfortunately we just didn't really get there. Uh, for the most part. We, we did get two wins, and both of them were pretty rage quitty <laughs> kind of wins, but um, I, I think that last game was a good example of what the deck is trying to do, uh, and so it was really good to be able to see that. 
uh, we did get the mana form down and make a token. Ideally, we would have won based on multiple tokens, but you know, it, it happens. That's okay. That was exactly what we wanted. Uh, the other games just didn't really pan out as well as we'd hoped. I think we got that one win, obviously, because uh, the opponent really just got mana screwed, which you know, it is unfortunate for anybody. But uh, regardless, I do like the deck. I think it's a really fun deck. I love Maniform Hellkite as a card. Uh, I just think it's a phenomenal aggressive four drop uh, that you can really start to capitalize on. And with cards like Slip Out the Back, uh, and um, a, a lot of the other kind of one mana protection spells, things like that. I think there's a world where you can really, really delve deep into that Hellkite territory and just go crazy. I don't know that this build took advantage of it quite as much as I was hoping. Um, I, I think we could have gone for the full four Hellkites. I think we could have included a little bit more low curve. Uh, to try and really get multiple triggers off of it. Um, and then maybe even done some shenanigans with the the, the creatures entering the battlefield. I, I don't know. There seems like there's an unexplored territory here. So I really do enjoy where this deck is headed. I really want to test it out for myself, maybe build it myself and just try and play around with it. But Clay, I think you did a great job as a starting point at the very least. And I know you actually claimed a 78% win rate. So congratulations. That's honestly, I, I didn't, I mean, I got 50 if you get 78, that's amazing. So congratulations to you, my friend. I do really like this deck. I think it's an awesome one. So thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we will have some more gameplay later this week. So I do hope you guys stick around for that. And thank you guys so much for watching everything on the channel. We really do appreciate it. Leave a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you are not already. We'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.